Hello, my name is Jessica Zaro, and I'm one of the educators here at Bywater Solutions. In today's session, we're going to show you how to add an SQL report from the Koha Community Wiki. The first thing we're going to want to do is log in to the Koha system. Once we're logged in, we're going to come over here to the right hand side and click on the reports module. The reports module will take us into our guided reports, our statistics wizards, and of course our reports that are built in over here on the right hand side. Down below the other category, we have two options down here. We have the Koha database schema, which will of course open a new tab that will allow us to go out to the version of Koha that we are on and take a look at the tables and the relationships between them. These tables are what comprise uh, the Koha system. So for example, our Biblio table will have all of the information that comprise our bibliographic records like title and author. If we come back to the Koha reports module, our last link down below is the Koha reports library and that's what we're going to work on today. If we click the Koha Reports Library, this takes us out to the Koha Community Wiki. The Koha Community Wiki has a page for the SQL Reports Library. This library has over 700 reports that have been gathered and put together by librarians, programmers, developers all over the world that share the reports that they've created in Koha. That way users can come in here, take those reports, use them, bring them into their system, and run the reports. Now the reports library is broken down to a few categories. The first is going to be SQL tips. It will walk you through um, linking to borrowers or let's say a branch code or a particular subscription. How to avoid errors and looking at some templates. Now these are all, are all going to be anchored in the system. So what that means is if you click on them, that'll take you directly down to that particular report. So now that we scroll through, let's take a look at some of our other categories. We start with holds. This will give us things like monthly holds placed, single title holds, stale holds. Then we jump into patron reports. This will give us everything from staff members who have super librarian permissions to missing emails and perhaps patrons with no checkouts. Then we move into circulation reports. Our circulation reports will include everything from local use, overdues, previous month circulation statistics, non-circulating items. As we scroll in to our next categories, we have course reserves followed by cataloging reports. Your cataloging reports will be everything from largest records, records without ISBNs, new bib records between dates, and so on. There's quite a few cataloging reports in here as you can see. Um, we're all the way up to 132 plus reports. Then we get into our accounting reports. These are going to be things like your fines and <clears throat> write-offs or payments that were made within the branch, followed by some statistical reports, notices, acquisitions, serials, and miscellaneous. Now remember, each one of these are anchored um, within the system. So what that means is if I select one of these particular reports, I can jump directly to that report. So let's say we want to take a look at bibliographic records that are suppressed in the OPAC. If I click on that link, that's going to take me directly down to um, the developer. That'll show me who wrote this particular report, followed by the module the purpose and the status. Uh, the purpose is going to tell me exactly what that does. So here we can see it finds all the bibs that have been flagged as suppressed in the 942N. So I can come over here and uh, take a look at the SQL statement. All of your SQL statements are going to start with select. Um, so I can come over here and I can grab a copy of that select statement um, either control C, command C if you're on a Mac or you can right click and select copy. Now we're going to come back over to our reports module. Under the guided reports, we have an option to create from SQL. If I select that button, that's going to take me into a blank slate where I can come in here and I can select and paste in that select statement that I just grabbed from the Koha Wiki. One troubleshooting tip I will give you is you want to make sure that there's no 
space or break between that um, beginning of the box and the select statement. Um, so just make sure that's right up next to it. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and grab the title of this particular report. So I can come over here, again copy that and bring it in. I'm going to paste that right in the report's name. Now of course you can add any additional information. The next thing I'll want to do is come in and look at the report group. Um, this allows me to come and select a specific category. Koha allows you to organize your reports by modules or create your own. So in this case, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select catalog. Now you can even take that a step further and give it a subgroup. Some people like to come in and perhaps create one for their um, for their name or maybe their department. Um, you can come over here and select create. That will allow you to come over and um, set up that particular code and the description of your subcategory. Our next one is, is the report public? So if you are looking for um, statistics or data for um, reports for your library, then your report is public will be no. Um, the option to make a report public for yes, uh, that would mean you are going to use data to push out perhaps on your website um, or something that um, will be able to um, you know, push out and maybe send off to your LibGuides page um, or a blog post or perhaps even Facebook. Finally, you have a notes field. Your notes field can be used for um, anything in um, that you would like to pertain to this particular report. So some of the things that I like to do is I come over here and I usually grab uh, the information for the developer, the module, the purpose, and the status. Again, this isn't a required field, but this just allows you to add any additional information. I also like to grab the anchored um, URL link. Um, I usually take a copy of that URL and then I bring that over to the notes field and I paste that in. Um, that allows us to add any additional information. So once you have that set in the system, the next thing you're going to do is select save report. What that'll do is that's going to take you to your um, page that shows you you can either run this report, access the report from the saved reports um, library, which will take you back to all your saved reports. You can schedule it to run once in the system or return to the guided reports page. So let's select run this report. This will now go through the system, run my report, and look for all of the bibliographic records suppressed in the system. Once that report comes back, I will have a list of those titles. Um, you'll notice I can see um, each one of those. Um, I have another field for author, and each one of these are hyperlinked. What that means is I can select this and perhaps open in a new tab, so I can then come over and look at that particular record. Now, I can also download this report. Um, if I would like to download, I can do it in a CSV file, a text file, or an open document spreadsheet. That would allow me to manipulate or massage the data in a separate spreadsheet. My name is Jessica Zaro, and this has been a tutorial uh, covering the adding of a report from the SQL library on the Koha Community Wiki. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. For more videos, please visit bywatersolutions.com or our YouTube channel for Bywater Solutions.